What's up, y'all? It's Courtney Chanel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Excuse my voice. I am sick right now, so please excuse that. But I wanted to come and do the story time with y'all about my parents finding out I was pregnant. Bruh, they were so mad. Let's just fast back real quick, and let me give y'all a little background. So, first of all, my daddy is a minister. That tells you enough. You know, my mama, she loves the Lord. She... Uh, studies all day and night her and Jesus are real cool they're real tight we went to church five days out of the week we went Sunday for you know service we didn't go on Mondays but we Tuesday we had drill team practice Wednesday we had Bible study Thursday we had choir practice Friday we didn't go to church uh, Saturday we had drill team practice and then Sunday we went for regular service so we were heavily involved in the church. That's why it was such a huge deal about me getting pregnant. But let me tell you, let me tell you, on this day, the day my mom found out I was pregnant, she lost her religion. She, it went out the dough. It went out the dough. <laughs> so being that deeply rooted into the church or whatever, I was a virgin up until my uh, junior year in high school. I had this fine little boyfriend or whatever. I mean, girl, who I had this fine boyfriend. So fast forward nine months later, as I was sitting in church, I was thinking, my, my cycle is supposed to start today, but it didn't happen. And in my head, I said, you're pregnant. But it, on the other side of my head, I was like, no, you're not, you just, you just late. So a few days go by and it's still no cycle. So one side of my brain is saying, you're pregnant. And the other side is like, no, you're not, girl. You good, you good. A few more days go by and I am breaking up with my boyfriend. We going through some stuff and I'm breaking up with him and I'm like, be expecting a phone call in a few days or something. I said something like that. Be expecting a phone call in a few days. He's like, what that's supposed to mean? And I was like, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> He's like, why you lying? Why you playing? I, I'm not. So, um, uh, few days go by still no cycle okay he brings me a pregnancy test now y'all if y'all watch my vlogs you know my husband is cheap okay he bought me um, I think it might have been like a dollar store or a 99 cent store pregnancy test and I took it and of course it said I was, it was positive I was pregnant but at that point I still was telling myself you not pregnant even like I'm still I'm it, it's clear as day I'm pregnant but it's like okay this is a night I said store test but I'm still telling myself you are not pregnant so he ended up telling his mom and she's like okay we just gotta do what we gotta do um she wasn't mad she wasn't tripping or nothing she was just like it is what it is we gotta do what we gotta do but I, I'm still in my head like I'm not pregnant I'm not pregnant so I told her, I was like, can you take me to Planned Parenthood so that I can see if I really am pregnant or not. So we go to Planned Parenthood and I told him he couldn't come back to the room with me because we weren't married. So I went back there, took my pregnancy test or whatever, and she was like, you're pregnant. And that is when I found out I was pregnant. And I was like, are you serious? Like, it says that? It, it, says, preg it says positive? Like, I'm, I'm pregnant? And she was like, yeah, you're pregnant. And I was like, she was like, do you want to know how far along you are? And I was like, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and apparently I was three weeks pregnant and I, I was mad, mad. I don't even know why I was mad because I had been telling myself for three weeks that I was pregnant. And since came back, I was still mad. So after I got through talking to the nurse or whatever, I stormed out of the uh, office. I stormed past my husband and went outside and he came following what's wrong why you mad why you mad what happened and i was like i'm pregnant <laughs> and he's like why are you surprised <laughs> you've had two tests to tell you you're pregnant you knew you was pregnant like yeah but i'm pregnant <laughs> like i really am pregnant so this was just like confirmation for me and it, it just hit me and i was mad like that I, you got me pregnant <laughs> so i end up calling one of my cousins and letting her know what was going on that I was pregnant and I just really was looking for her support and to ask her what I should do a week later all my cousins knew I was pregnant we are all very close so it doesn't surprise me that it got around but I didn't want everybody to know <laughs> so 
so on July 4th, um, my family got together and they were going to go and eat for the holiday. I couldn't go because I had to go to work. At that time I was working at Sonic and I wasn't going to take the day off because I really enjoyed working at Sonic, like a real good tip plus my check. So I really made a lot of money at Sonic, honestly, especially being in a small town and everybody in that town tips. I made really good money for um, a junior in high school. I'm getting ready for work and my phone ring and it's my daddy. So I'm not thinking nothing about it. So I answer it and I'm like, hello? And he go, what, what is this I hear about you being pregnant? And I'm like, huh? He's like, you heard what I said. What is this I'm hearing about you being pregnant? And immediately, my heart jumps out of my body, falls into the floor, and I'm just like shocked and surprised. And I didn't know what to say or what to do. Like, I was so scared, y'all. Like, I was so scared. And so, like, a few seconds go by but it really feels like minutes <laughs> okay and he said uh hello and I'm like yeah he said what is this I hear about you being pregnant and I said uh I'm pregnant and then he says you better not take your behind to work you need to be at home by the time I get there and I said okay <laughs> so I hang up the phone and would have told them that I was pregnant so I called my cousin the one that I originally called the first time and asked her because she was the only one that was there I asked her I was like my daddy just called me saying asking me if I was pregnant and she was like yeah uh so and so I ain't gonna say which one of my cousins but she said yeah so and so told him about you being pregnant and I was like why why did he why she do that <laughs> uh, she was like I don't know I was like is she with you right now? And she said, yeah. I was like, let me talk to her. She passed on the phone. I was like, why you tell my daddy I was pregnant? And she said, something like, I couldn't let you, I couldn't hold it in, or I couldn't keep it from them, or something like that. And I'm like, okay, even if you, I mean, going back and thinking about it, I'm like, okay, even if you couldn't hold it in, you couldn't tell me first that you was gonna tell him so I can get a heads up that you telling him? <laughs> so, oh, okay. And I call my job and tell him, I can't come to work today and she she got an attitude with me was like what am I supposed to do you supposed to be here in 20 minutes what, what am I supposed to get to cover your shift and I was like I don't know but I can't come to work today <laughs> and they had already known that I was pregnant because they kept trying to get me to um, like I said I worked at Sonic so they kept trying to get me to put on the skates and I was like kept telling them I can't I can't wear those skates and I ended up telling them the reason why is because I was pregnant I told her I was like well, my parents just found out I was pregnant, so I'm not coming to work today. And she uh, was like, okay, well, okay, good luck. <laughs> and then she hung up the phone. So then I called my boyfriend and I said, uh, he said, hello? And I was like, they know. And he's like, what? And I was like, they know. They who? My mama and daddy. They know what? They know I'm pregnant. <laughs> He's like, what you mean they know you're pregnant? And I was like, they know I'm pregnant. How they find out? He, um, one of my cousins told him. He get mad. He get real mad. <laughs> but they tell him that. And I was like, I don't know. She said something like she couldn't hold it in no more or something. And he's like, uh, so what they say? And I was like, he told me not to go to work and to be at home by the time he get home. He's like, all right, just let me know what's up. The whole time, I'm waiting on my mama and daddy to get home, and I'm just sitting on the couch, sweating, <laughs> sweating, and thinking like, man, they they kill me for real, for real. And um, I hear the garage door open, <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, they like the time has come, like it's about to happen, <laughs> and I start like the sweat is pouring off me the tears are like flowing hard down my face and I hear the door open look I mean I hear the door from the garage to inside the house open and I start bawling crying I'm like <laughs> I see my daddy come around the corner no my brother come around the corner first and then my sister come around the corner and then my daddy come around the corner I'm still <laughs> crying 
hard. He goes to his room first. I don't know. He probably was laughing at me. And then my mama come around the corner. And she, uh, I could tell she was crying. She walked past me and then she came back and she threw a pregnancy test at me. Now she had the good one. She has they stopped by the store and got the good pregnancy test. The pink box. I don't I don't know what it, who the brand is or whatever. But they got the pink box, the good one. And she was like, go in there and take that test. So I picked it up and I went to the bathroom, which was, you know, just in the hallway or whatever. And uh, I took the test and I'm like, man, please let this come up negative. Please let it be negative, please. But it come up positive, so I'm just sitting in the bathroom crying. Like, I ain't coming out this bathroom. They gonna have to break this wall, this door down. And uh, I'm just sitting there, came and beat on the door and was like, hurry up. And as soon as she uh, did that, I opened the door because I ain't one of no more problems. <laughs> she was sitting, she went and sat on the couch and I went and sat in the chair at the bar. She was like, let me see it. So I gave it to her and uh, my dad was like, what did it say? And she said, she threw it and was like, say she pregnant. <laughs> My daddy was sitting on the couch too, on the other couch, but he really wasn't saying nothing. Mama was like, you told me that you broke up with the boy and why you not using protection and all this stuff. I'm just sitting there like, I'm just sitting there still crying, still crying. My daddy not really saying nothing. I really expected him to be the one to uh, be mad. You know how mamas be like, They'll ask a question, but they don't really want you to answer it. So I was just sitting there quiet, not saying nothing the whole time. So she get up and she goes to her room. I guess she got tired of looking at me or something. I don't know. She got up and she started walking to her room. And then she turned around and she was like, so what are you supposed to do now? Or what are you going to do with your life now? Or what do you... She asked me something along those lines. Like, what are you going to do with your life now? And in my head, I'm thinking, just because I have a baby don't mean my life has to stop, right? Like I'm still gonna go to college and I'm still gonna become this, this, that, and I'm still gonna do all these things. But my response to that question was not what she wanted to hear. <laughs> I said, um, what you mean? Boy, that ticked her off. She was so mad. She came flying across the room fist and everything she was just clocking me back to back to back and uh then she started like she had her thumbs in my eyes she was boy that answer was not the right answer <laughs> she like she trying to take me out that's why i said on this day the day my mama found out i was pregnant she lost her religion okay uh, in the background all i hear is my daddy yelling her name telling her to stop but she's, she's still working on me. She's still working on me. I'm just taking him, taking him, taking him. And uh, daddy came and he got her off me. He was like, go to your room. And I'm like, man. That's all with my room. I'm still <laughs> crying. Like I'm, I'm, I'm heavy crying. I'm big crying. <laughs> I'm big crying. I just went in there. I was scared. I was sitting on that floor. And a um, couple hours went by. My granny was over there, I guess. I mean, my granny was over there. My uncle was over there. And um, they just like, it's gonna be all right. And I'm like, she mad at me, y'all. <laughs> she mad. She real mad at me. Later on that night, I mean, she was still mad. She was disappointed, but we came to a point where it was like, it is what it is. It ain't nothing to be done. So it is what it is. And we just gotta move forward. So. We went to Taco Bell and I got a quesadilla. And uh, she was like, you're gonna have to eat a lot so you can, you know, pass that weight on to the baby. You know, she was, you know, trying to give me a little pointers and trying to be supportive and things. Uh, she couldn't say she was a Christian that day. Not the way she was hitting me. <laughs> My husband and I now have another little boy and we lived happily ever after. So things worked out at the end, just in that moment. I wasn't too sure I was going to make it to the next day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.